awesome. Yeah. It was a great trip. It was a real privilege to be able to spend some time with Queen Beatrix and Prince William Alexander. What does it mean for DCNA and, and Sinapa uh, to have a Queen visiting one of your projects? Well, the Queen, the Queen's our patron, um, and when she chose to become a patron of DCNA, she was in a sense going against all the rules. She's only the patron of one other nature conservation organisation and that's over a hundred years old and um, what she explained to me in the bus was the reason that she chose to become the patron of DCNA was that we were going against all the rules and yet we were being so successful that she was really impressed with the work that the Dutch Caribbean Nature Alliance has been able to do and I mean actually bringing her and bringing her entourage out into the field and letting them experience nature conservation at work, so to speak, is, is priceless. You know, talking about projects is one thing, but actually being able to take people out and show them the good work that's being done, it just takes everything to the next level. And in fact, nature and conservation on, are on the Queen's program throughout her visit. So she went to the visitor centre of the Parque Nacional Arikok on Aruba here. She went into the mangroves with us. Um, on Sabre, she, she's getting an explanation of the Sabre Bank and the work that's going there. On Stacia, she's going all the way out to the Botanical Garden and she's visiting the area that they would like to set up as a protected area on St. Martin, the Amelia Wilson Estate. So it's this kind of common thread that you can see through her trip this time, which is just so encouraging because it gives us the kind of exposure that we need to be able to do our work here on the islands. Well, congratulations. Ha, 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 ha.